Don't forget to check out the website, guys. It's updated weekly with new blog posts. Also over there, you can check out my merch as well, which is now available for sale. And there's also a handy guide if you are new to reselling. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another charity shop haul. So yesterday I went around the charity shops and it was another good day. Yeah, I got quite a lot yesterday. I got um, more than I've got uh, for the last few weeks really, like around my local town. Some weeks it's been good, some weeks it's been bad recently. But this time it was really, really good. It's not been this good in a very, very long time. So yeah, really, really happy and excited to share with you some of the stuff I've got. I got a big kind of bundle deal as well from one of the charity shops. So I'll share that with you and obviously tell you the kind of the cost of the bundle. Um, but before I get onto that uh, big job, what I'm gonna show you um, a few other just random bits and bobs that I found in a few of the other charity shops. So with that being said, we will get on with the first item. So first off, we've got this Cam Camden Lock Pottery, or at least that's what I think it says on the back. The back. I think I might need a magnifying glass or something to see that. My eyes aren't that bad, but God. But yeah, so it's kind of like this. It's almost like stoneware this is, really. Um, and it's obviously got this, like, uh, ridge design round here, or, or ribbed design, I should say. Um, and it's got this nice design here as well. It's almost uh, like you can see grains in it, which is pretty cool. I quite like that. So, I mean, I'm sure some people won't particularly like that kind of design, but I quite like it. Um, and then you've got some sort of design. I don't know... I'm guessing they're meant to be leaves, but I'm not 100% sure. I think they probably are meant to be leaves. It's quite nice anyway. I think, did I go for four? Because I've already listed this last night. I can't remember whether I went for 14 99 or 19 99 but one of the two. I think maybe I tried to push 19 99 on this because it's quite nice. It's nothing spectacular, but I thought I'd push a little bit more because on a few of these items, you know, I've been going for like 14 99 and... Re more recently, I've been thinking maybe I should be pushing a little bit more on them, you know. They take a while to sell anyway, and you're kind of just looking for that right, uh, right, right buyer. So when that right buyer comes along, are we going to pay the five or extra if we see it? Because there's none of these on anyway. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, they're probably going to pay that five or extra, so I may as well, like, sort of start putting these kind of items on a little bit higher, especially if they're more niche, sort of, local studio potters um, that there's not many available and not any available anyway. Um, so yeah, it can kind of, you know, push the price a little bit. So yeah, I think I've gone for 19 on that. I paid 2 99 so happy days on that one. A nice little item there. So next was something cool. Probably the, the light there. I've got my photography light on to make these things a little bit brighter um, because sometimes it can get really dark in this room. Um, but I think it's actually a hin uh, hindrance in this case. But um, yeah, it's this etched brass, uh, not brass, copper even. I'm so used to saying brass because I pick up that much brass. But yeah, uh, etched copper, um, sort of like, I suppose it's like a framed piece of art, I suppose. Um, and it says Charlotte Rhodes here. The One Din Line, I'm guessing that's the name of the ship. Charlotte Rhodes, the One Din Line. You probably won't be able to see that One one Din Line. It's very, very small. Um, But it's interesting. I thought it was only two quid, and I thought, well, it's quite interesting. I've not been able to find anything on it on um, eBay. Um, Obviously, it's probably like a one-off or something like that. Um, But it's basically, uh, it says on here, um, I don't know whether this is the people who've done it, or whether that's the framers, because sometimes what happens is when some uh, when we frame it, the the like the place that framed it puts a little stamp on there. But I think that's the people who actually originally did this, rather than the actual place that framed it. Um, but it's you know it comes in this nice little frame. Obviously, it's a nice little piece of um, you know art for the, for on a wall somewhere. It's not too big as well. It's just a nice little piece to hang up on a wall. Um, and yeah, as I say I paid two quid. I originally thought you know I'll probably list it for. 15 quid, 20 quid, but um, last night, and I put this on my Instagram stories actually, last night I uh, decided when I was listing it to put it up to like 24 99 because I thought, you know what, there's no harm in trying, so I'm going to try for 25 on that, if I don't get it after a month or so, maybe a bit longer, maybe leave it two months, then I will just come down, I'll come down like, you know, maybe 20 quid or something, I think it, it, it could very well go for 25 quid, um, but it is one of those items, again, you might be waiting for that right by it, I apologise that you might not be able to see it that well there, but it's because it's reflecting as well, because of the copper, but it is quite nice actually, it is quite a nice little, uh, nice little piece there, 
there, but yeah, so that's that one there anyway. So next, another piece of studio pottery. This one is glazed. Was the other one glazed? It kind of was, wasn't it? Well, slightly, I suppose, but I don't know. Um, but this one's like really glazed. You can see it there reflecting. Um, and obviously it's got this design of these, uh, I don't know what flowers they are. They're not sunflowers, are they? But there's some sort of flowers anyway. Or it might be like an abstract design of a sunflower, but I, I doubt it. But yeah, so, but it's quite nice. It's obviously this brown and yellow and there's a little bit of green in it as well. Um, Studio Pottery vase. Uh, again, with this kind of ribbed um, design on here or even kind of ribbed texture as well. Um, but yeah, basically it says on the bottom of it, I think it's CP. It's like a little inscribed mark there, CP. I don't know what potter that is. I don't know whether it's a well-known potter, whether it isn't a well-known potter. So it's one of these things that, again, I need to do a bit more research on because um, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot in terms of value. Um, but for just the piece for what it is, probably charge like 20, 25 quid, something like that. Um, but if I do some research and I find that that potter, you know, is worth a little bit of money, which I don't think it will be, um, but... If it is, then obviously it could be it could be a bit more than that. So yeah, but it's still it's a nice piece. It's a fair size as well. It's a good size piece, um, and someone will like that definitely. So yeah, uh, that was that one. Oh, and I don't know whether I said paid four pound on that one. So I, I was hesitant. I was like that. I was like, mm, four pound. Should I buy it? Shouldn't I? And then I thought, you know what, I'll go for it. Because if I could squeeze 25 out of it, £4 is not too bad. If I'm squeezing 10, 20 out of it, then, you know, I try not to pay 4 or £5 for things that I'm getting 20 quid for. But sometimes I just end up doing uh, doing that. Um, but yeah, so £4 for that one there. But nice piece nonetheless. So next, now this is cool. Well, it's cool to me It's because because I'm a little bit eccentric, but... To other people, it might be, oh my god, what's that, you know? Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's this, I'm guessing it's like a, an American, in, uh, an Indian American, what's it called, an Indian American or Af African American, is that like, I, I don't know. Basically, someone in, oh, the light's going really weird as well there, but um, basically someone over, uh, like an American Abo Aborig no, no, that's an Australian Aboriginal. You know what? You know what I mean. People over in America before we came over, you know, in like 60, uh, 1620 or something. Uh, the people over there before we went over there, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, like, you know, like uh, oh, the Lone Ranger. You know that kind of. Thing. Anyway, I'm sure people know what I mean. And I do apologise about the light. I'm going to put this down a bit because the light's reflecting terribly. Um, but yeah, it's basically um, one of those. Now it's on velvet. I don't know whatever you can see there but it's like i'm pretty sure it's velvet anywhere there really really odd um and as you can see there it's been painted on i don't know what what paint it has uh, been used maybe acrylic or something i'm not sure I really haven't a clue i'm just guessing um and then it's got this kind of cheapish looking frame to it it's not the best quality frame in the world it's kind of like a cheapish looking one um it's by i don't know whether you'll be able to see this on here rm right that's who it's by uh couldn't really find anything on the artist um i paid oh is it i, I think i've taken it off i paid a fiver for it so i thought you know for a fiver i'll take a punt on that it's interesting it's different you can see there's some definitely some work gone into it some good work gone into it um but yeah, I'm thinking of charging about 40 quid for this and then just coming down slowly. Um, it's really a guess, you know, with with a lot of this art stuff, it's really a guess. Um, first thought, I, would, I was thinking 30 and then I thought, eh, you know what, I'll push 40. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push 40 and see. It's one of those pieces that if a right buyer comes along, they're going to buy it, you know, for 30 or 40 quid or whatever. They're probably not going to argue too much on price. So I may as well just shoot a little bit higher than I was thinking. And then if I do have to come down or maybe I accept an offer or something, then I'm more than happy to do so. But for my fiver, yeah, pretty interesting that one. So pretty interesting, pretty different, probably to um, some people it's not really their taste. And I get that. To me, it's like, yeah, I would have this on my wall, you know? So, I want you to note this because I think this is my one of my best clothing pickups ever because I'm really bad at clothing and I actually think this is a decent pickup, but you, you guys can be the judge of that. It's a Jack Willis. I think I've heard a few people talk of Jack Willis. Superior Jack Willis, uh, medium, medium there, and I think it's men's. 
Um, I don't know what the material is made out of, however, it does feel very, very good quality. It's a little bit creased down there, but obviously, I don't, I'm, I'm assuming you can iron this material and everything, it'll be fine for, for ironing, but I should be able to get those creases out if I can iron it. Um, and then, obviously, on here, we've got like a little logo thing. I'm guessing that's for Fred, uh, Fred Perry, the Jack Wills logo, I'm not sure, but. I'm assuming it is, or it might be just a random logo design for this piece. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It's like a camel-y colour or a beige colour. Um, obviously, it's like a, just a thin sort of jumper. Um, and yeah, I paid five quid for that. Now, I've seen this exact one. I've actually, yeah, I know. I've actually found a piece of clothing, the exact same piece of clothing that I've picked up on Complete and Solds. Don't know how I've done that. Um, but basically, um, one of these brand new, I don't know whether it's sold or whether it was listed or what, but it was either sold or listed for like 50 quid. Uh, obviously, that's brand new. So I'm thinking like it must be like 25 quid minimum. Something like this, like 20, 25 quid, maybe even 30 quid. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that because I'm like, yeah, I've got, I, th I think, I think, fingers crossed, I'm 90, 95% sure. I've done pretty good with this one, um, and you know what I'm like for clothing, I'm terrible, so yeah, please someone, if you're a clothing seller, tell me I've done good, let me have this one, let me have it please, but yeah, um, so that's that one, so I was pretty chuffed with that one yes, uh, yesterday, pretty happy to see it, and thought, you know what, I'm okay, I'll take a punt, I'm not afraid to take a punt and, and go outside my comfort zone a little bit, um, as demonstrated in a minute with some of the things in the bundle deal actually, but uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, I'll leave that one there and we will get on with this little bundle deal. So next we've got the bundle deal, so basically I went into one of my usual chari charity shops and negotiated a deal for a large amount of stuff, well I say a large amount of stuff, it's a bit of stuff. Uh, for £62. Pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to get back roughly four times my money. Um, obviously, that's just in sale price. That's not after postage or fees. That's not net profit or anything like that. But four, four times my £62 back in sale price. So roughly about, you know, two, 240 something like that. Um, so obviously, it might not be as good a margin as when I'm picking up things individually. But when I'm doing these bundle deals, I kind of pay up for certain items in the bundle. And then obviously other items I'll kind of, um, you know, have, have a bit better margin on. And then it works out okay like that. But I'd rather get the stuff in. I'd rather get some uh, stuff listed. And then obviously a few of these items will be quite quick sellers anyway. So I can just get them out, get my money out of them, and then reinvest into other stuff. So I'm not too worried when I do these bundle deals of, um, you know, of kind of sacrificing a little bit of profit because I'm quite happy to just get the items, turn them over, and uh, obviously then reinvest the money into other stuff. So with that being said, I will share with you the first item out of this bundle deal, which is this um, Blu-ray uh, Disney Like the Lion King. Go, I think I've got it, I've actually got this listed. Um, I first thought it would be about 12, 13, 14 quid, something like that. But I've actually since seen one go as high as 15, 19, so I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to shoot on that one for 16 quid and uh, hopefully I will get it because one, the one that went for 15.99 only went like a few days ago so I'm sure I can achieve that on that one. It's brand new and sealed. Generally, you know, a lot of these Blu-ray, um, you know, Blu-rays and DVDs don't go for good money. However, if you can get them in box sets and they're brand new and sealed and they're of a decent subject matter or the ones like this Disney and stuff, then we're going to do okay. You know, not all of them. It's not, a, you know, it can't be like a blanket rule, but a lot of them will be decent, especially if you get a brand new and sealed Blu-ray box set. They seem to still hold their value a little bit. Um, but, you know, still, I mean, even the Blu-rays, I think there's going to come a time where they're just not worth, um, they're not really hardly worth selling. I mean, even the individual Blu-rays now aren't really worth selling. Not for me anyway, because I like to do things over a tenner, but, you know, that was that one anyway. So I was happy to find out that that was worth some money. Um, and it's, you know, so easy to, to deal with something brand new and sealed like that. So yeah, that's that one. Should sell pretty quick as well. So pretty happy with that. So next we've got this trunky originally stickered up at a fiver there um, and you can see it's one of the pink ones now. I did look on Complete and Sold and it seems like a lot of people are underselling these. Now I don't know whether that's personal sellers, I'm guessing it's personal sellers, uh, but you never know, there might be some new resellers in there underselling these as well because a lot of people are selling these. I mean, there's some gone on auction for like 
six, seven quid. I mean, that is auction, but there's others that have gone and buy it now. Um, and literally people are charging like a tenner, like £10 plus postage or like, I think even a little bit less than that a few have gone for. And it's absolutely ridiculous. When I, w I was looking down the list and I was doing a bit more in-depth research, I found out that £20 plus postage is very much achievable. I think someone even got like twenty two ninety nine plus postage. And that was more the range I was thinking this was going to go for. And that was still a fairly recent sale. It was in, it was within this month anyway. Um, I think maybe about a week or two ago. Um, so it is very much achievable on these items to, to you know to sell them for twenty pound plus postage, maybe even a touch more with you know good photos, a decent title that's packed with keywords, all the rest of it. Um, but a lot of people do seem to be for one reason or another. I'd say maybe they are personal sellers and we don't know how to research on eBay, um, you know, completely or whatever. They don't know how to use complete and sold and all the rest of it um, and they're just pricing I don't know in line with other ones that are already listed and then the cycle repeats itself because more and more people come on that don't particularly know what they're doing or how to research it effectively see all the ones that are listed at ten pound and then they list theirs for ten pound it's just a vicious circle until a few people come along and actually look at complete and solds and not only look at complete and solds but look at them properly because there is a right way to look at complete and solds. You can't just go on complete and solds, look down the list and think 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 pound, right, it goes for 10 pound. You can do that but also what I like to do is go on highest price first, look down the list, see if the, the dates are close to the date that it currently is and if there's any that have gone for really decent money um, you know close to the date where the, the, um, that is, I'm obviously on now um, then I think to myself well why did that go for so much and why are the others going for so little and then I look at them and usually the reason that that one's gone for more than the others is photos the photos of the other ones were poor and also the titles as well and then you think right well what I'll do is I'll pad the title out I'll get a good photo and I'm going to charge that amount and generally you know it might take a few days longer or a few weeks longer or whatever but you will get that sale and uh, you know so there is a right way of going about um, looking at completing so don't be that fool who just goes in and uh, looks at those first few or whatever and thinks, yeah, it's that. Or or don't even be that fool who doesn't even check complete and sold and just looks on listed and thinks, yeah, that, that you know, it must be that price. Always do a bit more digging. And I make mistakes. I get these things wrong all the time. You know, I don't necessarily do it right every single time. Sometimes I'm complacent. Sometimes I don't look enough. Um, but, you know, it's just about trying to train yourself to nine times out of ten or 9.5 times out of ten or whatever to try and get it right and hold yourself accountable to doing that. But yeah, so I'm going to be listing this for about £20 plus postage, despite the lower ones that are currently available. Maybe even a little bit more, I'd say maybe twenty two ninety nine, 99 something like that. Um, and yeah, pretty happy on, on that one. I'd say that was a part of the 62 quid bundle deal. So yeah, the ones you want to look out for, I think... I think the Gruffalo, Gruffalo ones still do quite well. And there's also, I think there's a few animal-themed trunkies as well that do quite well. Um, so, yeah, you know, just have a look at different um, ones that are available and just do a bit of research in trunkies because they're quite good. I mean, yeah, they might take a little bit of packing up, but it's not too bad, you know. I mean, if you've got a nice box or you can maybe, uh, you've got some bubble, a big bubble wrap or something and you can make a box around it, it's not too bad. It doesn't take too long, especially for someone who's fairly experienced at packing. So, yeah, that's that one anyway. So next in the bundle deal was a load of gaming guides and manga books. So first off, I've got these two World of Warcraft ones here. They don't go for much on their own. They're like four or five quid, something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is bundle these two up for probably about a tenner. Um, and hopefully I should get that. Um, I don't know whether these are going to go well as a bundle or not, but I, I don't want to sell them for four or five quid each. It's really not worth my, my while doing that. Um, so yeah, World of Warcraft, uh, Burning Crusade. And I think, what's this one? Cataclysm or something? I think it's Cataclysm. Yeah, Cataclysm. So, yeah, that's those two there. Now, these are a couple that are just below a tenner, and I'm not sure what to do with them because I don't want to not list them because I think I'd be a fool not to list them. Um, I might push a tenner on them, but then again, I'd just be waiting forever. So, I might just list these for the values that they're at. I know I don't generally list things below a tenner, but I just feel like I'd be stupid not to list these. Um, so 
This one, I think, is about eight quid, maybe nine quid at a push. Uh, this is a Blade of the Immortal Trickster, uh, sort of like a Japanese uh, book of some sort. I don't think it's manga, though. Um, and then we've got this Street Fighter, what's that, 4? Street Fighter 4 Gaming Guide. Again, I think this is about seven quid, something like seven or eight quid. Um, so, yeah, it, it's a shame that they're not quite a tenner. Um, but it's in that kind of range that I'm like... Really, I should list those because they're from the bundle. It's going to get me some extra money out of the bundle. Um, but it's just one of those things like, oh, I don't want to list anything below a tenner. You know, I don't want to break my rule. But at the same time, I think sometimes you kind of have to make small exceptions. Um, because literally, I mean, if I were to put these back into a charity shop or, I don't know, just get rid of them or whatever, it's you're just throwing away money kind of thing. So, um, yeah. Um, I'll probably end up listing those two anyway, so that's those two there. So next, I've just got a load of random books that aren't worth it on their own. Um, I don't know whether I could do a bundle of these. This is, uh, what's this, and Shaman King. Now, some of these books read backwards. Some of these, like, Japanese books read backwards. So this is the start of the book, not the other way around, uh, which is really cool. So I think, I don't know what we call them, uh, maybe backwards books or something like that, but I'm not sure. Um, but we've got a load of different ones of these. We've got a couple of Tokyo Pop ones down at the bottom here. I never knew what Tokyo Pop was, um, but... It must be some sort of like manga book series or something or, um, you know, a company that does uh, manga books. But yeah, I've got loads of different things. The problem is they are all different volumes of different series. So it doesn't lend itself to a bundle. So I don't know whether I actually could do a bundle on those or not, but we'll have to see on those ones. I might be able to do a bundle, but I, I really wouldn't know what I'd charge for them. Um, because individually, you go for like three quid a book or something. Um, so if I was to add that up, it'd be like, I don't know, 20 quid or something. But I just don't know whether anyone's going to want a load of random volumes from different series, you know. Um, but we'll see on those ones there. But they were just the random ones that weren't worth listing individually. So we've now got some that were worth uh, listing individually. Battle Royale 4 again, this Tokyo Pop uh, one again. Um, yeah, so this one's about 10 quid, something like that. So I'm going to, obviously I'm going to list that individually. It says on here, parental guidance, uh, parental advisory or something. Uh, explicit content, parental advisory. I never knew that like these manga books and stuff... Um, you know, we're like that, we're like proper, um, you know, over 18 or whatever, but yeah, so that's that one, we've got this Castlevania, uh, Curse of Darkness, I think I've gone for about 12 99 on that one, um, because, um, there was a bundle of two of these books, a, a different one of the Castlevania series, um, on for like 30 quid, so I think I've gone about 12 99 on that one, uh, next we've got Mega Dragon and Tiger Fuhrer, Future Kung Fu Action, I've actually gone high on that one, I have listed this for a tenner, there has been ones that have sold sub a tenner, um, but I'm just gonna wait on this one, because I don't think there was like tons and tons of these on, um, so I thought I'd just wait on that one and whack it on for a tenner, uh, next we've got this the legendary couple uh, now some of these have sold um internationally for like the equivalent of about seven quid plus like 14 quid postage or something there is now one listed for 12 pound 50 on the ebay website i don't think it was listed even like yesterday which was crazy um but i'm thinking of going maybe 15 quid something like that on that one that'd probably be free postage um but yeah the legendary couple i'm guessing it's some sort of graphic novel or manga book again um but yeah so i think i'm going about 15 quid on that one um next which is this one is the best one um freddy versus jason versus ash obviously this was kind of um the the best piece of the bundle deal and why i kind of bought it um so one of these has gone for basically we accepted a best offer um Basically, the original list price was 60 quid, but we accepted a best offer. So we could have accepted 45 quid, 55, 50 quid, 55 quid, something like that. Um, I have gone for 60 quid on this. Um, I'm probably going to end up accepting an offer of 50 quid, something like that. Um, but still, hopefully 50 or 60 quid on that one. So pretty happy with that one there. And then finally, we've got this De uh, Devil May Cry gaming guide. Um, I've seen one of these go for 13 quid plus post. Postage, so I'm gonna go for 13 quid plus post on that one um, And then there is just another couple of books over there that aren't worth listing individually So I don't think I'll bother showing you them. They're literally again just 
three or four pound book, something like that. I might actually put a couple of those in with the other books that I showed you that weren't. Oh no, wait, sorry, there's another couple of bits. There's these first as well, these um, battle vixens um, with rather odd poses, especially this pose, that's very odd pose. Um, but yeah, this is Tokyo Pop again. Um, I'm gonna go, these, this is like volume one and two, is it? Yeah, volume one and two, and I'm gonna go for 10 pound on those. So yeah, that's those. I'd say a couple of other books over there that were below a tenner, you know, like three or four quid or whatever. Um, but other than that, I think that is everything. So pretty happy with that bundle, a little bit outside my comfort zone with the whole, you know, manga books and, I mean, gaming guides aren't so bad, so bad. I've kind of dealt with them before, but the manga books are completely outside my comfort zone. So I think I've done okay, um, I think that, you know, if I was picking them up, uh, like car boots and stuff, I'd try and get them for as cheap as possible because what I realised was a lot of these um, aren't actually worth that much, much money, especially individual books, like the individual books, uh, you know, three or four quid, like there's a lot of Music Magpie and stuff coming in at three or four quid, but if you can get them in the volumes, you know, if you can get like, uh, I think there's like tons of different volumes of these battle vixens if you can get like a good bundle of them then they'll go for good money on their own um but it really is about getting a good bundle together so yeah if i saw these out and about i'd definitely be um obviously trying to get bundles of them in set series um and trying to pay maybe like five pound for a, a nice big series of them and then i might be able to flip them into 30 40 50 quid looking at some of the solds um so yeah it's interesting to have picked these up because it helped me learn a little bit more about them and, and how to actually deal with them in future if I see them out and about and what sort of prices I'd like to pay but for this first kind of go at them uh, maybe I could have reduced my buying price a little bit but I'm still happy with the bundle um, obviously this was kind of the main part of the bundle but I'm still you know I'm still pretty happy with it for a first attempt and uh, as I say it'll give me more valuable information when I'm seeing them in the future so with that being said I will leave it there for this video guys it's getting quite a long one again um, so yeah, if you did like the video, then please do give it a like down below. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, of course, if you've got any comments, questions or queries about any of the things you've seen in today's video, please do drop them down below. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon, guys.